Good morning all. Today I am going to present my capstone project topic Water Quality Monitoring System. Project Overview It is an IoT based monitoring system which is back supported by Arduino. The sensors used are temperature, pH and turbidity sensors. These sensors capture the values and post it to the database via Arduino. So the Arduino has access to the local server and then it posts it to the database. The database is created using MySQL and phpMyAdmin, whereas the HTML user interface is created through the cake PHP template. It has the model view and controller system, which basically the controller interacts with the database and the view will be for the user interface. Now let's discuss about the components and the specification. The first one is the Arduino Uno Wi-Fi Route 2. It has a built-in Wi-Fi module with a crypto chip accelerator. The DC current provided per input-output pin is 20 mA, whereas for the 3.3 volt pin, it is 50 mA. It, it, its operating voltage is 5 volt, whereas it can accept an input voltage starting 7 volts to 12 volts. The second component we are going to discuss is the pH sensor, which has a measurement range up to 14 pH. It's an analog sensor and it outputs the values in millivolts, which then we'll map it manually using the code to get the correct pH value. Its ideal operating temperature is between 0 to 60 degrees Celsius. That is, it can withstand a temperature of up to 60 degrees Celsius. The measurement range is up to 14 pH. That's 0 to 14 pH. The third component is the turbidity sensor, which is an analog sensor. Its operating current is 40 milliamperes and its analog values can be measured up to 4.5 volts starting 0 volts to 4.5 volts which is then converted into the NTU unit also known as the nephilometric turbidity units. The operating voltage is 5 volts and it's, it can withstand an ideal temperature between 0 and 60 degrees Celsius. The temperature sensor is the next component which, are, which can measure the temperature range from minus 55 degrees Celsius to 125 degrees Celsius. Its operating voltage is between 3.3 volts to 5.5 volts. It is a one wire digital sensor. Basically it has three wires, one for VCC, one for ground and one for the digital pin. The digital pin is the one which gives us the reading in digital and then, and then we capture it using the library functions. The last component is basically a voltage regulator. It's a fixed voltage regulator which I need up to 5 volts. So I'm basically using an LM7 to 5 voltage regulator. Now let's discuss the flow chart. So it has two parts. One is the web page flow design, the other is the Arduino flow design. So on the web flow design, it basically starts with the browser. You go to a user browser and then you get to see the login screen you type in your username and password and click login you get to see the dashboard where there will be a drop down option with temperature ph and measure options and then a measure button on the right side you will see a graphical representation once you click the temperature and click on measure the value is posted to the database to invoke the arduino to activate the sensor in order to measure the value. Once the sensor measures it, it, the Arduino will post it to the database. At the same time, the user interface, it will be polling to the database to see whether the value is updated or not. Once the value is updated, it grabs the database value and appends it to the user interface. So the user will be able to see the value in a table as well as in a graph represented near to the table. 